The Eastern Sierra News brought to you by T-Bar Social Club, June Lake's newest gathering place offering June pie, New York style pizza and year round entertainment in a warm welcoming atmosphere. See you in the loop. All right, well, we love our families for the most part. We love our fun for all the part. And hundreds of families enjoyed Well Family Fun Day last Saturday at Bishop City Park. Bishop CHP Office PIO Adam Otten said the Family Fun Day group effort between a lot of agencies, Kern Regional Center, Caltrans, Great Basin Unified Air Pollution Control District, CHP, showcase what groups, departments, and organizations are available to residents of the Eastern Sierra. Hey, Bill Schneider there getting us this video for Sierra Wave Media. How about 35 organizations were part of the great event. CHP hosted the Bicycle Rodeo for Kids, teaching them bicycle safety through the use of a bike obstacle course. I love those. CHP officers also provided bicycle helmets to kids that not, did not have one. CHP and Inyo County First Five hosted the annual child car or the annual child car seat checkup event. Families that were in need of a car seat could come out and receive a new free car seat. For those still in need of assistance with car seats, they can either contact the Bishop CHP office or Inyo County First Five. CHP's Otten said organizers were expecting about 350 people ended up with 1,000 coming out. Grand raffle prize, a family won four passes to Disneyland. That was donated by Achieve Behavioral Associates. $100 gift card to go toward fuel that was donated by IMA. A great day, family fun day, I like it. Well, Northern Inyo Healthcare District is in the middle of a two week celebration that highlights the shared values held by district employees. Celebration born out of a blending of National Hospital Week, National Nurses Week, and a City of Bishop proclamation recognizing the contributions of all Northern Inyo Healthcare District staff to the health and well being of our local communities. Part of the happenings included employees learning how to make some tasty and healthy food dishes. Cornerstone events of the celebration, the press release notes, occurred last weekend and coming up on Friday. Now, last Saturday, the healthcare district hosted its annual Years of Service Dinner, recognizing more than 53 employees for their longevity at Northern Inyo Healthcare District. This year, nurses Juliana Loudon and Gretchen Schumacher, Community Relations Coordinator Cheryl Underhill, 40 years of service. Also, there are employees clocking 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 years. Monday, the spotlight fell on the nurses nominated for the 2019 Daisy Award for Excellence in Nursing. The winner of the honor, Denise Didi Costello, announced at a ceremony last Monday. Now, coming up Friday, an employee barbecue. The district will award two inaugural Lifetime Achievement Awards, the John A. Ungersma Lifetime Achievement Award for Healthcare Leadership and the Pete Watercott Lifetime Achievement Award for Service to the Community. Full press releases posted on SierraWave.net. We're also getting information from the Inyo County Office of Education, once again offering the Sierra Adventure Summer Camp. This is for Inyo County Middle School students. Spaces for 60 boys, June 17th through the 21st, 60 girls, 24th through the 28th, open to all students who will be entering 6th, 7th, or 8th grade this fall. Now, the goal of the overnight camp is to provide a safe and fun experience away from home for a week time at Camp Fosters. The press release says independence, resilience, responsibility, and competence. We can all use that. Campers spend the week at the Great Sierra Adventure Center, Big Pine, qualified, fun staff of credentialed teachers and outdoor educators, as well as responsible high school counselors. Campers connect to the outdoors by playing outdoor games, wading through streams, creating nature art and crafts, building forts, exploring and observing local plants and animals, hiking in the Sierra, sleeping under the stars on the last night. Also an introduction to archery on the archery rain, campfire, singing, skits, s'mores, swimming, talent night, a summer camp, Olympics on the last day, other classic summertime pastimes, great, great camp. And it also says that this is a break for uh, kids to get away from screens and cyber life. Boy, do we all need to do that.
kids will actually interact face to face with their peers and practice communications, social skills without their cell phones. They eat dinner family style where they learn table manners and how to make conversation with others. $20, space is limited. I love this. Camp Director Maggie Riley has registration and information. 760-873-3262, extension 2131. We'll be back with a weather report.